To write the formula for potassium manganate, the first thing we're going to do is write the element symbol for potassium, and that's just K. For the manganate here, it ends in A-T-E, so you're not going to find that on the periodic table. You either memorize that the manganate ion, that's MnO4, and the whole manganate ion has a charge of 2 minus, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. This one's a little bit confusing because there's something called the permanganate ion. If you're looking at the permanganate ion, that's MnO4, and it has an ionic charge on the whole thing of 1 minus. But here we're talking about the manganate, so 2 minus. It's just something to be careful about because you'll see this permanganate quite frequently. Since we have potassium, which is a metal, and then our polyatomic ion, which is a group of nonmetals, we have an ionic compound. So the charge it needs to add up to zero. We need to have a net charge of zero for the whole compound. Potassium, that's in group one. It has a one plus ionic charge. So we're going to need two potassium ions here to balance the two minus on the manganate ion. That makes this the formula for potassium manganate. And again, don't be confused with potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate is KMNO4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.